According to Zuckerberg, Meta's next Llama 4 artificial intelligence models will require a significant amount of computational power to train, much exceeding that of the competition. During Meta's third quarter earnings call on Wednesday, the CEO stated that Llama 4 was well into development and was being trained on a larger cluster of graphics processing units than its competitors. Elon Musk has stated that XAI is deploying 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs to train its Grok chatbot. Elon Musk has touted his AI startup's massive inventory of in-demand NVIDIA chips. Now it's Mark Zuckerberg's turn to flex. However, this comes with a cost. AI, which frequently demands conducting computations on gigabytes of data, necessitates huge computational resources as compared to traditional workloads. NVIDIA's cutting-edge H100 AI GPUs are also leading the way, consuming more than 13,000 gigawatt-hours of energy this year. Running at 61% annual usage, each H100 GPU consumes approximately 3,740 kilowatt-hours of electricity each year. This corresponds to the average American household. While this figure may appear scary, GPU efficiency may improve in the foreseeable future, providing a potential path to more sustainable computing. Recently, Meta's Mark Zuckerberg revealed that their next Llama 4 model is being trained on a larger GPU cluster than any rival, demonstrating Meta's dedication to remaining at the forefront of AI technology. Meanwhile, Elon Musk XAI uses a large fleet of NVIDIA H100 GPUs to train its Grok chatbot, demonstrating the size of resources required in this competitive landscape. However, this push for AI supremacy poses serious issues about energy usage, as each H100 GPU consumes almost the same amount of electricity as an average American household. What are the environmental consequences of the massive energy requirements associated with training advanced AI models? How many advances in GPU efficiency and sustainable technology reduce the environmental impact of AI computing? Stay tuned as we get into the details. For the amazing work that goes in here, Kindly return the favor by giving this video a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, sharing indicates you wish to see our content reach an even broader audience. NVIDIA's H100 processor, also known as Hopper, is in great demand among it giants and AI startups looking for computing power and the ability to train big language models. It's estimated that each chip costs between $30,000 and $40,000. However, questions are arising about the impact of the increasing energy consumption associated with its cutting-edge semiconductor technologies. Although NVIDIA's H100 AI GPUs are catching the IT world by storm, their success comes at a high energy cost. According to Stocklytics.com, these power-hungry CPUs are expected to consume 13,797 gigawatt-hours in 2024, surpassing the yearly energy consumption of countries such as Georgia and Costa Rica. According to Paul Chernak, Microsoft's principal electrical engineer of data center technical governance and strategy, installing millions of NVIDIA H100 GPUs will consume more energy than all residences in Phoenix, Arizona by the end of 2024. Thus, skillfully handling these hurdles while also encouraging innovation will determine the future environment of AI computing and beyond. Amazon's recent announcement of the ARM-based Graviton 4 and Tranium 2 chips shows potential for increased efficiency. The power consumption of NVIDIA GPUs is an important aspect in calculating total cost of ownership TCO, in data centers. The total cost of ownership of a data center is the sum of the initial investment, operations charges, and extra costs incurred during the equipment's life cycle. The power consumption of GPUs has a direct impact on operating expenses like as electricity, cooling, and maintenance costs. The NVIDIA H100 GPU consumes less power than the A100 GPU. The H100 consumes 700 watts of power, whereas the A100 consumes 250 watts to 400 watts, depending on the arrangement. The H100's decreased power usage lowers the data center's operational expenses. With more and more tech CEOs depending on NVIDIA's H100s, Meta CEO had this to say during his recent appearance. We're training the Llama 4 models on a cluster that is bigger than 100,000 H100s, or bigger than anything that I've seen reported for what others are doing, according to him. That 100,000 figure could refer to Musk's AI business, XAI, which debuted its Colossus supercomputer in the summer. The Tesla CEO described it as the most powerful AI training system in the world, 
and stated that XAI was training its Grok chatbot on 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Meta introduced the Llama 3 models in April and July. In the earnings call on Wednesday, Zuckerberg stated that Meta's Llama 4 models would have new modalities, capabilities, stronger reasoning, and be much faster. The smaller variants will most likely be ready for release soon, around early 2025. Meta anticipates capital expenditures to rise more next year as it expands its EI infrastructure. This is a significant move as Meta competes with other tech behemoths such as Microsoft, Google, and Musk's XAI to create the next generation of AI LL Miz. Meta isn't the first company to build an AI training cluster with 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Elon Musk launched a similar sized cluster in late July, dubbed the Gigafactory of Compute, with plans to expand its capacity to 200,000 AI GPUs. However, Meta announced earlier this year that it plans to have more than half a million H100 equivalent AI GPUs by the end of 2024, implying that a considerable number of AI GPUs are currently in use for Llama 4 training. Although the Meta CEO did not specify how large the company's H100 chip cluster was. Meanwhile, Musk stated on X earlier this week that XAI's cluster size will double in the next months to 200,000 H100 and H200 chips. Meta's Llama 4 takes a novel approach to AI development by making all of its Llama models available for free, allowing other researchers, corporations, and organizations to build on them. This differs from other models such as OpenAI's GPT-40 and Google's Gemini, which can only be accessed through an API. However, the business continues to impose restrictions on Llama's license, such as limiting its commercial use and providing no information on how it was taught. Nonetheless, its open-source nature may allow it to dominate the future of AI. All of this computing capacity creates a significant power demand, especially since a single current AI GPU can consume up to 3.7 megawatt hour of power annually. That means a 100,000 AI GPU cluster would consume at least 370 gigawatt hours per year, enough to power more than 34 million average American households. This raises questions about how these corporations could acquire such large supplies, especially since bringing new power sources online takes time. After all, even Zuckerberg has stated that power limits will limit AI development. Elon Musk, for example, powered his 100,000-strong computing cluster in Memphis using multiple enormous mobile power generators. Google has been falling behind on its carbon targets, increasing greenhouse gas emissions by 48% since 2019. Even the former Google CEO advised that we abandon our climate targets, let AI businesses run wild, and then employ the AI technologies we produce to address the climate catastrophe. When analysts asked Meta officials how the company was able to power such a vast processing cluster, they avoided answering the question. On the other hand, Meta's AI competitors, including as Microsoft, Google, Oracle, and Amazon, are jumping on the nuclear bandwagon. They are either investing in small modular reactors or restarting outdated nuclear facilities to ensure that they have adequate electricity to fuel their future projects. While this will take years to construct and implement, providing AI data centers with modest nuclear reactors will assist to minimize the power-hungry clusters low on the national power grid. Elon Musk, for example, powered his 100,000-strong computing cluster in Memphis using multiple enormous mobile power generators. NVIDIA, a market leader in AI chip design, is expanding its offerings by developing custom chips for cloud computing and AI applications. The company is now trying to expand into the burgeoning custom chip business, which is expected to reach $10 billion this year and double by 2025. And there you have it for now. It's been fantastic having you with us this far. If you've enjoyed the incredible work that goes into these videos, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video publications. Your engagement means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.